What's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Off-Road and behind me is this really sweet camping trailer. It's the Boreas XT from Into the Wild Overland. And in this video, I'm gonna do a full walk around of the trailer, open up all the compartments and show you all the features. That's coming up right now. So this is a 2019 model Boreas XT. It's a pretty small trailer from the front of the tongue to the back, it's 15 and a half feet long, seven feet wide from fender to fender, and just over six foot three inches tall from the ground to the top of this awning. Now, of course, it does sit a little higher right now because we have this Yakima rooftop tent installed. I'll get to that in a little bit. All right, let's check out the sleeping quarters. So these doors are lockable, of course, in case you wanna keep your valuables inside. And the doors are really solid, they feel really nice. You, of course, have a window on the door with a screen so you can open it up, get some airflow, not worry about bugs. And then the mattress takes up the entire interior of the trailer. It's a pretty nice mattress, four and a half inches thick, and it's memory foam, so it's super comfortable. And if you look underneath it, it's actually a rubber diamond plated floor. So it matches the fender flares on the outside. And that means it's going to be really easy to wipe out and clean up if it gets dirty inside. All right, I'm not a super tall person. I am five foot 10, but I have plenty of room in here. My head is right at the wall on my head side. And I've got tons of room down here. And there's even more room kind of in the middle this silver box from the kitchen kind of protrudes into your leg space, but the mattress only goes as far as the silver box. So you do have a little bit of extra leg room over on this side, but your feet will be hanging off the end of the mattress. Now, inside we have these wood finished walls. They're not actually wood, they just look like wood. It's actually fiberglass reinforced plastic. Above our feet is kind of the control center and storage over here. So let's go through all of that. First off, we have a cabinet right here and it has this magnet. There's also another magnet on the roof. So it sticks to that and your cabinet will stay open. Over here, we have our touch controls for the lighting inside. So there's a power right there and we have these LED lights that run around the entire interior, three sides. So just not up front here and they are dimmable, so you can use this touch panel to raise or lower the brightness of that right there. We'll leave them on just so it's easy to see inside of here. We have a normal power outlet in case you need to charge up your laptop or your phone, anything like that. Right here is the control for the heater, so temperature, and then that will turn the fan function on if you just wanna get some airflow going. Pumps out of those vents right there and the heater is to that position right there. It's really hot out today, middle of the summer, I'm not gonna use that. Here we have a battery cutoff, so you can fully disengage the battery right there. And then here's kind of our power station. So circuit breaker and fuse box, everything is labeled how you'd want it to be right there. And then right here you have the voltage meter, so you can tell how much power you have in the battery on board. You also have 12 volt and two USB ports. And then coming over to this side, another one of these cabinets with a magnet. Stick it up. And here's our heater. They hide it inside of this aluminum box. But there it is, pumps out of these two vents, and that'll keep you nice and toasty in the winter. All four walls, as well as the ceiling and the floor are insulated. So especially because you have that heater. There's a cargo net right here. It's stuffed with brochures right now, but this would be a perfect spot to stick maybe some sunscreen, bug spray, your phone at night while you're sleeping. And there is of course another one on the other side. This trailer is big enough to sleep two people if you know each other well enough. So each person has their own cargo net. Hidden underneath on the right side, we have a carbon monoxide detector and a smoke detector up top. And there's no AC, but we do have this roof fan 
So you kind of pull it out and opens manually. And then you've got four different speeds right here. And then you can get, you know, some more airflow inside and cool it down. Right here we have these 30 inch KO2s sitting on 15 inch ProComp steel wheels. And if you look underneath, there's no axle. So this uses the Timberin axle independent suspension. That gives you really good ground clearance. It's over 20 inches because you don't have that axle running through there. And in between the two wheels, you can see our water tank and that has a skid plate on it. So it is protected, but it's on the outside of the trailer. So if you're planning on doing some ski trips with this or any kind of camping in the winter, you're going to have to winterize that water tank. Also, while we're under here, you can see this is a composite construction, even underneath. There's no wood to be found on this trailer, which is a good thing. You don't have to worry about anything rotting or wood falling apart. This trailer is using some really high quality materials. It is definitely built to last. Looking up front at where the trailer hitches, this is where you can really tell that this trailer was built to do some serious off-roading. It doesn't use a normal ball. Instead, it uses a lock and roll hitch coupler. So this gives you much more articulation. It can pivot right here. It rotates here. So this is gonna allow you to get to some much more remote places, tackle some really gnarly trails that you wouldn't be able to do with a regular trailer. And this trailer will just take it like a champ. Another really thoughtful thing that they did with this trailer is they put a custom wheel on the end here. So normally trailers have some sort of really cheap plastic wheel here. They replaced it with this hard rubber wheel. So it makes it much, much easier to roll around on gravel or when you're at your campsite. And even though this thing weighs 2000 pounds, it's pretty easy to push around by hand, especially because you have this rubber wheel. Okay, let's check out the kitchen. It opens in the back here, so we have these two handles. And it's on struts, so it keeps itself open. And here's everything you need to basically cook while you're out camping. So these are all on locking slides. They lock both in and out, so you don't need to worry about, you know, things rattling around while you're on the trail or sliding back in if you're on a slight slope while you park. So your sink folds out right there. And then under the sink, we have a two burner stove with a glass top. So you can cook on that. You could also, you know, prep food on top of that surface. We have a Dometic fridge, also on a locking slide. Right now it's at 39 degrees. Nice and cool in here. Keep all your drinks and all your food ready to go in there. And these just slide and lock right back in. And then up top, we have some more storage. So these are all our, you know, plates and pots and pans, bowls, cups. There is a fire extinguisher mounted to the trailer right there. Got some more storage on the other side, utensils, little lunch box, stainless steel shelf. You have another stainless steel shelf right here. You could also prep some food on that counter. And then you have a few more things here. So regular power outlet, maybe you wanna plug in a coffee maker or something. You have another touch panel. So there is LED lighting back here. You can cook at night. And again, just like the inside, you can dim those however you like. And then another voltage meter so you can check your power from the outside. Here's the switch for the water pump which is behind the kitchen right back there. And then again, 12 volt and USB. Just like that. I wonder if there's water in the sink. Let's check it out. Water pumps on and look at that, we do. So we're ready to go. One last thing, up top you have this little LED light and actually you have to make sure these lights are on first and then that will go on, but now you just have some backlighting to really help light this area up at night. Now these fenders are not only for looks, 
they are actually weight bearing so I can step up on them and access the roof. You can't stand on the roof because it is composite. So these fender flares make it really easy to get up here. Here's our solar panel. It has this weird texture to it. I've never seen a solar panel like this, but park it in the sun, that'll recharge your batteries. And then you can see over here, we have our roof rack system. And this is designed to sit no taller than the actual framing of the trailer. The awning on the other side actually sits higher than this. So what they were trying to do is make it so you can still fit it into your garage. And even with the rooftop tent, we're still able to get it into our eight foot garage at TFL. You should have no problems getting it into a home garage, especially if you didn't have this tent up here. Up front, we have a little bit of storage up by the tongue. Just like everything else, this box is locking. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. That's where the battery lives, right in there. And then you also have some other storage. So you can fit whatever you want in here. And then inside of the storage container, right next to the battery, we have our solar charge controller so that you can easily check and monitor how the batteries are charging and make sure that the system is operating properly. There's also a full-size spare on here. So don't have to deal with any undersized tires. And then we have this Trasheroo kind of off-road trash bag. You can see it has this custom Boreas series logo on it. This is the Boreas XT, but they also make an MXT, which is basically the same trailer. It's a little more expensive. The only difference is they give you a spot to put a motorcycle right here. So if you're really into dirt biking, that might be the way to go. Basically just has a little ramp and carrier right there and straps your motorcycle in. It can only hold 400 pounds though if you get that version. So it's definitely limited to smaller bikes like dirt bikes. You're not gonna be pulling around your Harley with this. Over on the left side of the trailer, there's a couple of things on the outside worth noting right here is your water hookup. So that's where you put your fresh water. And then right here we have shore power and it's a regular plug. So all you need is an extension cord, plug this into any outlet and you can recharge your battery. There's more of these exterior lights on both sides, one on the left, one on the right side. So maybe you have some chairs set up here, you're eating what you just cooked back here, and you can light up the areas to the side of the trailer. That's really nice. And then above that, we have this awning by 23-0. It's fully manual, so I'm not gonna pull it out right now because I have a feeling it's a two-man job and I'm out here by myself. I really don't wanna get stuck. But stay tuned to TFL for more videos on this camping trailer. We're taking a trip with this really soon and we will definitely be using not only this awning, but that rooftop tent. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Over on the right side of the trailer, again, here's that light I was talking about right there. And then we have this Pelican style case right here mounted to the outside. And that's for our shower. So it has an outdoor shower. Here's the hot water heater. And this will heat not only the water for the shower, but also for the sink right there. And it runs off this propane tank. One thing I really like about this trailer is there's a door on both sides. So there's the one I was just going in and out of. But both people, if you're sleeping too in here, have a door. One person wakes up earlier. You don't need to climb over the other person to get out of this trailer. And also, if you're just, you know, out camping, you get a lot more airflow, a lot more light inside this trailer if you open up both of those doors and that fan versus if you just had one door. It also comes with these blackout shades that are magnetic. So they're reflective on one side and they have a magnet just up in the top right there. There's also a couple magnets along the door and it's super easy. You just kind of plop it up there. It stays really nice and that will keep all the light from coming into your trailer when you're trying to sleep in the morning. It's also gonna keep the temperature relatively nice because you have this reflective material on the outside bouncing all the sunlight outside of the trailer. In the back, you have these leveling jacks and it comes with the tool that you need to adjust them. So when you get to where you wanna go, you're setting up camp for the night. You just lower these down to the ground they have a little bit of a roll on here, so 
it doesn't really matter what angle the, the ground is leveled at. Wherever they make contact, they'll be good to go. I haven't talked about the graphics on the trailer yet. I really like what they did with the design. I think it looks awesome. You have the trees and the mountains on the side and some more trees with the company logo on the back. And you also have these really neat marker lights along the trailer. So up front you have amber on both sides. If you go to the top of the fender flares, amber facing front, red facing the rear, and then on your back corners, you have some more red marker lights. Also in the back, the brake lights have integrated reverse lights, which I have not seen before, so that's pretty cool. You also have a hitch receiver. Maybe you wanna throw on a bike carrier, carry some mountain bikes or something. This trailer is pretty much specced out. There's not too many things you can do to it. These are 30 inch KO2s. You can go up to a 33 inch tire if you want. Maybe you're trying to match the tires on your Jeep or something. You're able to do that. Going around to this side, we have somewhat of a small propane tank here. I believe it's an 11 pound tank. You can upgrade to a 20 pound tank or you can get an additional 11 pound tank and have two of them. We don't have that on this trailer, just this one 11 pound tank right there. And then the other thing you can do is that battery that's inside of this box. You can get a second one of those and make it a dual battery setup. We're getting ready to take a trip in this trailer really soon with the Tesla Model X. So if you're interested in seeing more on this trailer, make sure you check out our other YouTube channels and also go back to tfloffroad.com for more news views and real world camping trailer reviews. I'm really excited to camp out of this thing, so stay tuned.